Have you ever wondered what a baby tarantula looks like? Not much, usually. Anyway, we just got some baby spiderlings in. This week, uh, we got some Nandu chromatis, some OBTs, and some Tapakinius gigas. So these are itty bitty guys. And um, when they came in this week, I've worked nine days straight. I didn't have any vermiculate. I didn't have time to go shopping until uh, today. So I put them on some cork. I've been kind of um, veering away from the cork bedding a little bit because of some mold problems. So I'm going to transfer these little ones from uh, the coconut bedding to the vermiculite. So this is um, a pretty simple process, but you can see we, um, for my tiny little guys, I honestly use tiny little containers. And I use a soldering gun and I put holes in the lids and the sides of the containers. Obviously you need to be uh, wary of not making your holes too big. Um, for these little bitty itty holes, I just kind of touch it. Um, for some of the larger containers with bigger bugs, I'll actually push the soldering gun all the way through. But um, that's just what I found in my experience. Uh, we used to like use screwdrivers and it was a big old mess. Anyway, a soldering gun, it's a little bit smelly because it kind of like burns like plastic, but no big. So um, anyway, these are um, just gonna pop the top off here and you're gonna laugh. These are so tiny. Trick is first finding this little dude. Okay, I'm seeing the spider. So, I'm going to try to remove some of this webbing. I'm sorry about this guy. Let's see. Okay. I can see the spider and confidently pull out the webbing without, uh, you know, making sure I'm not hurting anybody. So I'm just going to pull this little beauty out, coax him out. And try to put him, as you can see this is not a large or a fancy container, but it's a good little home for him. You can see he just climbs right down the wall. I already moistened this vermiculite just a little bit. And so until this little one grows up a little bit more, this is going to be his home and it won't take, you know, it won't take too long. But um, what I have found is that in the wild, these spiders don't live out in the open. They live in small, safe areas. And um, honestly, they don't need a lot of room. And I have found that they actually thrive um, better in, in smaller containers. So. That was our first transfer. Let's see where this, okay. You can see where my buddy is. So it's just gonna be similar process here. Oh, that was fast. That was easy. So there it is in his new little home. And um, yeah, nice and neat. So you can see on this container, we've got just very small holes in the side and the lid. And this is going to be a perfect little home for this one until it grows up a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. These will be the containers until they grow up and I decide that they need a kind of upgrade to a bigger place. And um, so you can see we've got all different sizes of containers here depending on the size and age of our spider. So anyway, last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Mitch Robot of Arachnoboards, who we ordered these spiders from. Um, I think he did a really good job packing, and they made it to us through, even though the shipping company took an extra day. So thanks a lot, Mitch, and uh, we appreciate it. We'll definitely be ordering from you in the future. And I hope this answered any questions. If you have more questions, uh, comment or message me, and I'll see you guys next time.